how can we use this particular command and this particular command can be used after or before creating a list let me show you an example if i move to this paragraph click and press the enter key and when i click on this command once this is going to provide me a bullet point and that is going to allow me to create a list in microsoft word so i'm going to create some list you can see that i have typed this monitor here and when i press the enter key on the keyboard it creates another bullet point for me to type the next list so you can see how i am creating this list with a bullet point or the bullet command so as illustrated when i click on this command it gave me this particular bullet point and immediately i type the first list and press the enter key it gives me another bullet point continuously to have my list available in the word document so this is how to use this particular bullet command in microsoft word another way to use this is if you already have some list available without any bullet point then you can select that particular list and provide that particular bullet point so if i get to this paragraph press the enter key so i have this list available let's assume i want to apply this bullet point to this list which are in this word document what you are going to do is to select this list then you jump into the paragraph group and click on this command and automatically you can see that this bullet point has been applied to this selected list that we have in our word document so this is also another way to use the bullet point in microsoft word and as i said earlier you can use it before or after having your list in your created word document now this also gives us the room to change the kind of bullet points we want to have for this particular list and that is you make sure that the lists are selected then you move to the paragraph group click on the arrow beside the bullet point then you have this bullet library available we have a lot of bullet points here so if you want to change the default bullet point given to your list then you can choose any of these lists so let's assume that i select this check mark so you can see how i've modified this list by changing the bullet point given to this particular list so this is the function of this particular bullet point which does not need any orderly arrangement of your list because we are not talking about numbers here we are just talking about bullet points so you can have your list 